Hello, and this is a photo I took uh, on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, and I had about, I saw it, and I had about just a few seconds to snap it on my iPhone, and it's pretty cool. It It's a commentary of, I guess, our modern day life. We have the poor and the rich, the haves and the have-nots, and this relationship. It's significant because this all is in the foreground, and there's nothing else distracting it. So it's a very, it, you, you focus on these shadows and silhouettes immediately and it tells this story it looks like they're both women i'm judging that by this hat i don't think i'd be caught dead in a cap like that and i did make an assumption but that's okay because this is my story there's a lot in this photo that is not part of the story that probably distracts us at some point our eyes going to go to the sun which isn't very helpful and we have all this sky up here these this uh silhouette of the trees is pretty cool but it really is a different story with all this and there we're going to get rid of and we have a lot of space here it just does not help to tell this this is a pretty dramatic story and this is a story that happens all day long in the big cities the first thing we want to do is fix this parallax it's slightly here you could see that about to accentuate these verticals they're kind of going this way and this one's going this way so we want to make them all vertical parallax is when the camera is not perpendicular to the ground it's slightly tilted up or down and it would make all the verticals slanted and we don't like that so i'm pretty sure android probably has got the same tool we're just going to stretch it up a bit and it will fix that problem so what we want to do now is remove all that sky that doesn't help us and the idea here is that I'm just going to do this in iterations and we're slowly going to come to what is the best, what's the best story. It's down to there. On the left hand side, I'm going to just pull this in. I could stop it there. You, oh, if you see a tree like that, it's always good to border the picture with a tree. On the right hand side, I want to pull this dark space in because it's not needed. Right now we have some high contrast areas here, which don't serve us here. Our eye will go up there at some point. We have a lot of space here. It's kind of boring. We you don't need that. There's nothing really going on here. So I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna border the the picture right here, and I want to develop a relationship between this shadow and this shadow. So one of the ways you could do that is if you make somehow make them have an aspect of them that's similar, and the aspect we'll use is the distance from the edge, and it will kind of tie them together in a very indirect and very subtle way. So let's try this. So first off, we're going to pull this down to about there on the top. On the bottom, we're going to pull this up just so that knee is touching the edge of the border. Pull this in and see if we get rid of as much as that high contrast here in the bottom right. On the left, I want to pull this in so it just touches the same amount of the knee. So there's, there's a relationship there because they both have the same, same characteristic of being just tapping the edge of the photo. I would call this done at this point. Let's take a look. So you could see that we're looking directly at what we should be looking as opposed to this one. There's a lot of other visual information to look at. You can look at the trees, the buildings, the streetscape, but it doesn't that doesn't help us. And so again, the idea is is that you could learn from the logic I articulate and my thinking is and apply it to your photos and your camera roll and your albums. And the point is you just go through iterations. You bring you frame the photo in such a way, just slowly and gently, and you ask yourself, well, what's the high contrast areas? Well, there's certain rules that you follow that I've, I'm trying to illustrate that are pretty that are pretty universally true. And there's a certain subjective nature to this. And that's where you develop your style, if you would disagree with me on how you would crop it. So I, if you do, I would love to hear that, um, because it's interesting to talk about. I think the discussion is still valid. It's just that your conclusion is different. So with that, uh, please like and subscribe, because that's what keeps the doors open at this shop. And I'll see you in the next video.